It's our story. Ed started his presentation by saying, a nice little old man came up to me and said, son, I'd rather be dead than be like you. Ed said, what's the proper response to that? And I said, well, the correct response would be F An age of exclusion. There was no right to ride on a plane, to enter a restaurant or a store. You may be told you have to leave because people don't want to watch someone drool. We were living under substandard conditions. Not going to school, sitting on the ward all day, not being talked to by anyone. It is a civil right to be independent in America. The number one precept of independent living had to be that we had to teach ourselves how to fight. All of a sudden, meeting Ed confirmed that things had changed. You had to be politically active, and I think a lot of us came to that conclusion very quickly. We have uh, demonstrators in wheelchairs. Ed used to say all the time, use your anger, use your anger, use your anger. Once the nursing home got rid of our ideas of independence, things began to get ugly. You become more disabled in jail. Disability, if you allow it, it can be powerful. Beyond charity. We love you all. You are our inspiration. People will want to hand you a dollar, sometimes hand you 25, hand back the dollar, but 25 maybe you think about. Beyond pity. And you realize that having a disability doesn't make you shrunken or less. I didn't know that it was okay with me to fall in love with somebody who had a disability, but I knew it then. When you're up against something that the world doesn't give a rat's ass about, suicide sometimes comes to mind. As long as our government funds places that people would rather die than go, it's a great cost containment measure. Free our people! I get out of my wheelchair and I start climbing. National news, on, I had local, I had everybody. They say that it was the image of me was the final decision to get the ADA passed. It's our story. It's always a journey. It just always takes a lot longer than you think it should. Free Our Voices, www.itsourstory.org.